In South Africa, relatives of victims of suspected ritual murders are demanding police do more to stop the practice. It's believed the killers are collecting human body parts to be used in traditional medicine, known as muti. Africa correspondent Ginny Stein reports from Tlokweng. The people of Tlokweng, a remote village in South Africa's far north, are demanding answers. Our people have died, we know most of them. Up until today, no one's faced justice. They fear there is a serial killer in their midst, one who murders for human body parts. I think this guy is almost the 13th guy or 14th guy. In this village? In this village. Selena Malloy is angry at the failure of authorities to investigate the death of her 24-year-old son, Tobiso. What makes me feel so bad is our police. Why don't they do the job? Tobiso Malloy's family don't know how he died or why. They want answers, not just for themselves. This guy has to rest in peace. We just need that. He's killer. How many people die each year in ritual killings is not known. Police don't keep statistics. But in 2001, police did reveal that almost 2,500 people were caught in possession of human body parts. Traditional healers are seen as powerful people. The majority rely on herbs and animal parts, but not all. They want to make money, so they have to help people make money so that they can get some back. So they're just greedy and they, they've got the talent and they've got the gift, but they're using it in a wrong way. In South Africa, most Muti murders go unreported, but getting authorities to take action remains equally challenging. Ginny Stein, ABC News, Tlokweng, South Africa.